So Havarim, my friends, I, I hate to interrupt such wonderful conversations happening at your table, but um, we have some things to share with you and we wanted to do it over dinner. We've done lots of fabulous learning today um, and the whole, the whole day is designed to help shape your thoughts and decision makings about death, dying and afterlife. Um, but specifically also so that you can have, not just for your own thinking, but so that you can have conversations with your family, your friends and loved ones about this difficult mitzvah and topic. So we wanted to share with you over dinner a vehicle um, in which that will help set out a program to make this easy for you to share with your family's friends, loved ones, your wishes. On your table, you'll see a flyer, which is the Death Over Dinner flyer. If you scan the, um, co the code or you go to the URL, it's going to take you to this website that I have on the screen. Um, and this is a fantastic program, and I'll go through it with you after we've seen a little video, that helps you structure step by step how to have a dinner and a conversation with those you love about your wishes. So I'm going to start by um, watching this video, um, which means I'm going to change my screen a bit. Welcome to Death Over Dinner. You might be asking yourself, what could death and dinner possibly have in common? Or maybe you're wondering why someone would even want to talk about death, especially over an otherwise pleasant supper. Well, here's the deal. The way we die in America, and now in many other parts of the world, is pretty messed up. Not just the fact that we die. End of life care is far from ideal, and it causes a lot of bankruptcies. Most people die in hospitals, and they are really expensive. Yet, 75% of America says they want to die at home, and only 25% of us do. Regardless of where we spend our last weeks, days or moments, the thing we are really missing is a straightforward conversation. It's obvious if you think about it. If you don't tell your loved ones what you want during your last mile, you won't get it. Say, for example, you wanted a vacation in Aruba, but you didn't tell anyone, and your well-meaning family booked you a long, costly ticket to Antarctica. Not what you wanted. The default when it comes to dying is also very expensive. And like Antarctica, most likely not what you wanted. Not telling your loved ones what you want only makes everything a lot harder for everyone, emotionally and logistically. They're already gonna be devastated by losing you. On top of that, imagine having to make a seemingly endless list of decisions and to make them immediately during your grief. So we came up with a simple solution, dinner and conversation, just talking to each other openly, directly, authentically. Since we launched, there have been over 100,000 dinners in 30 countries. It seems these two things go together quite nicely. So, what happens at a death dinner? It all begins with our website. You tell us why you're interested in having a dinner, and when you select an intention, we magically create a script for your evening. In this script, you will find a series of thoughtful questions for everyone who comes to dinner to consider an answer. If you don't like a particular question, don't answer it. And that's about it. But here are a few pointers. Don't surprise people. Pizza night, surprise, death dinner. No. Don't hog the talking stick. Put that phone away. No one needs you to be checking your Instagram while they are talking about how they want to be remembered. Make something simple. Light some candles. Create the right ambiance. Give yourself plenty of time. Make I statements. This is not an opportunity to argue. There are no experts in death. Listen deeply. Say something you're afraid to say. It is the quickest way to get closer to the people in your life. When you're done, maybe you want to take some next steps and put a few things in writing. Our goal is to change the way we die one conversation at a time. Join us. So 
The Death Over Dinner website that um, is now back on the screen and you also have those links on the piece of paper in front of you is really terrific. So if you want to... Um, let me just reduce my screen here. Um, what we can do, it's got a... If you go down to where it says Jewish edition, you can bring up Jewish, specifically Jewish questions to ask. And actually on each table is one sample of the Jewish questions, which after I've finished explaining the website to you, we're going to encourage you to look at those questions and maybe discuss each one at your table. Every table has different questions. And of course, it's taking a while to come up, but we'll go back here. Um, but and you'll see that in the middle of your table. But to make a death over dinner where it says learn more, it's going to say, here it is about it. And then you'll see it says plan a dinner. And you just click on planning a dinner. And it will bring up who is invited and an example of who you might invite so you can think about it. And then it is going to why you are having this discussion. Is it because somebody has a terminal diagnosis? Is somebody experiencing Alzheimer's or dementia? Just preparing, it's super important. Whatever your reason might be, it has a number of different things there. It then has what's your intention? And let me press an intention. Then it's gonna ask you other questions. Um, and as you go through, as you can see, step by step, it guidelines. And in the end, it's going to give you a script of conversation that you can specifically have with your family, loved ones, friends about what you want, like a trip to Aruba rather than Antarctica, right, for your final days. So we wanted to introduce you to this fantastic program encourage you to go there as you start thinking about the things that you learned today. And we have some fantastic speakers coming this evening um, that will even enlarge what we learned um, during the day today with Rabbi Anne Brenner, who is an expert on mourning and mitzvah and the whole process of Jewish mourning. And Rabbi Simcha Paul Raphael, who is the, one of the experts on afterlife and Judaism. Um, after you've listened to that and you've started to think about it, this is a practical step that you can take away and take home with you as you plan to talk to your loved ones. So um, I'll go back. I'm going to leave the um, Death Over Dinner um, website up for you. And uh, I encourage you to do so. I also encourage you to have a look at a sample question in the middle of your table and maybe even make it part of your discussions together. It's two, both are two-sided. One has an intention and one has um, the question to discuss. Enjoy your food. We will be doing grace after meals. Um, at, let me tell you what time we're doing Grace After Meals. We will be doing Grace After Meals at 5.40. So, and then we'll take a slight break after dinner. And um, then we're going back into room 100 to hear Rabbi Ann Brenner and Rabbi Simcha Paul Raphael.